Bolshoi Olini Ostrov means large reindeer island in Russian. It is an ancient burial site on the Kola Peninsula in Arctic Russia. Some of the earliest Uralic settlers in Finoscandia had come into Finoscandia through Bolshoi Olini Ostrov. In this video, we will explore the genetics of six Bronze Age inhabitants of Bolshoi Olini Ostrov. These early Uralians practiced reindeer herding, a tradition they have passed down to their Sami descendants. With PCA-based ethnicity calculators, they resemble West Siberians, namely the Kants and the Monsi, who are also Uralic speakers. I ran the six genomes through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis, the purchase link for which will be in the description of the video. Two of the six samples were male, and they both carried Y lineage in 1A1, which is commonly associated with Uralic speakers. Regarding phenotype, the most common predicted phenotype among the samples was Amerindian, which three samples scored. Here is a morph of the average predicted phenotype. Four samples were predicted to have brown eye color, and two samples were predicted to have dark brown eye color. Five samples were predicted to have black hair color, and one sample was predicted to have dark brown hair color. Five samples were predicted to have light brown skin tone, while one sample was predicted to have olive skin tone. Four samples were predicted to have straight hair texture, but one sample did have wavy, and one sample did have curly hair texture. Every sample was predicted to have a snub nose shape. Regarding odds of balding, it seems the Reindeer Island Uralix as a whole had lower odds of balding. Three samples were predicted to be taller, and three samples were predicted to be shorter than average. One sample had low odds of kidney stones. Two samples were carriers and had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, and two samples had low odds of migraine. One sample had high odds of lupus, two samples had high odds of gout, and one sample had high odds of eczema. Two samples had low odds of polycystic ovary syndrome. One sample had high odds of age-related cataracts, and the whole group had predisposition to lowered odds of age-related macular degeneration. Two samples had high odds of epilepsy, two samples had high odds of asthma, and one sample had high odds of vitiligo. Two samples had high odds of myopia, one sample had high odds of corneal astigmatism, and two samples had high odds of primary biliary cirrhosis. One sample was predicted to be a warrior while three samples were warriors. So it seems this group is strongly predisposed to higher dopamine levels and poor stress tolerance. All six samples scored intermediate for D2 receptor availability, which means intermediate propensity for no-go learning and intermediate odds of schizophrenia and bipolar. Speaking of certain common mental health conditions, one sample had high odds of Tourette's, no samples had high odds of ADHD, most samples were predisposed to depression, and four samples had low odds of bipolar. All six samples scored high for odds of autism. Not a single sample scored intermediate or low. They were very strongly predisposed to autism. Not a single sample carried European variants for lactase persistence. Two samples scored lower level of empathy, and four samples scored average level of empathy on the basis of OXDR genotypes. Regarding athleticism, their ACTN3 R577X genotype distribution was similar to European average, with the athletic C allele being about as common as the unathletic T allele. As a group, they were strongly predisposed to alcoholism and somewhat protected from syncope. Two samples had high levels of plasma homocysteine with the remaining samples having intermediate levels, leading to increased odds of cardiovascular issues. One sample had low odds of ischemic stroke, Three samples had low odds of atrial fibrillation. Every sample had average odds of deep vein thrombosis. And four samples had high predisposition to a wide range of cardiovascular issues. It seems that as a whole, the Reindeer Island population is strongly predisposed to cardiovascular risks. Three samples had low odds of type 2 diabetes. And one sample had low odds of Alzheimer's. Two samples had high. Three samples had intermediate and one sample had low odds of obesity. The Reindeer Island samples had a low predisposition to epithelial cancers on the basis of 8Q24 genotypes. Not a single sample carried any risk variants for breast cancer. Three samples had high odds of glioma, two samples had high odds of thyroid cancer, and five samples had high odds of testicular cancer on the basis of their KITLG genotypes. Moving on to blood cancers, 
The Reindeer Island inhabitants had a strong predisposition to polycythemia vera on the basis of JOK2 genotypes, and an average predisposition to leukemia. They had a low predisposition to allergies, and not a single sample carried any risk variants for any rare genetic conditions. The Reindeer Island samples had a low predisposition to autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. Nonetheless, all of them had risk variants for ankylosing spondylitis. Two samples had high odds of type 1 diabetes, and three samples scored high for odds of rheumatoid arthritis. Although no sample carried any HLA DRB1 variants for multiple sclerosis, the Reindeer Island people had lower levels of vitamin D and average levels of LDL cholesterol. The Reindeer Island people had a predisposition to higher red blood cell count, lower telomere length, which is bad as it leads to shorter biological lifespan and lowered iron levels. No samples were predicted to have hemochromatosis, although one sample did have lowered iron levels approaching anemia. For samples carry blood type A and two samples carry blood type O. No other blood types were observed among the group. Thank you for watching until the end. All the relevant links will be in the description of the video. Make sure to like and share if you enjoyed it. Goodbye.